this video, I'll show you how to connect, test, and program a JVL servo motor. We'll be demonstrating on a Mac 400. It's a 400 watt servo motor with an integrated driver, programmable controller, and power supply. Let's get the motor connected. AC power connector, DC control power, communication cable, and plug in the comm cable. We'll proceed with the software. Let's open MacTalk. You'll see a screen consisting of three areas. In your lower right hand, you'll see a connecting window, and in the upper right hand, you'll see a status column. The big area to your left is your settings tabs. For this basic setup, we'll only be looking at the main tab, test tab, and the program tab. Let's look at the main tab. The motor has many modes, most of our specific applications. If we choose velocity mode, or if we change the speed and enter velocity mode, the motor will start running at that speed. We can now adjust the speed in real time. The position mode is the most commonly used mode. Positions are set in counts per revolution. The Mac 400 has 8,192 counts per revolution. Entering that number, we'll turn the motor one revolution. For tuning, we can go to the test tab and set two positions. We're going to move forward 2048 to do a quarter turn and backward same distance, change to set position mode and press start. The flag will now move and we can adjust it in real time. Increasing the velocity with the arrows, I want to go real slow or increase the speed to really high. Let's just go with 100. Now let's write a program where we turn a flag 90 degrees. First set the motor into passive mode, reset the position, and choose RxP programming. You'll see a column of programmable steps. I want to start the program with an input, so I choose wait for an input, high choose input 1. I'll then make a move by choosing the red sports car and entering a position. I'm going to move it 90 degrees, which is 1 quarter of the 8192, making it 2048. And then I'm going to put in an hourglass, so we'll wait 500 milliseconds. I'll then make a move back to the first position by entering a zero. I'll then put in a new weight, again 500 milliseconds, and then I'll end the program by making an unconditional jump to the beginning of the movement. Now the program is actually finished, but for our demonstration, I'll need to remove the input since we don't have a physical button. Press start and the program will be transferred. Just say yes to accept. Pressing start again will activate the program. Now you have successfully connected, tested, and programmed your motor. If you want more information, please visit jvl.dk and subscribe to this channel. Thank you for watching.